Good morning. Morning. Blackfoot River Outfitters, John and Terry. April 2nd. April it's like 2nd. Two weeks in a row we've done this. Oh, yeah. Right? From here on out, every week. It's no April Fool's joke either. <laughs> I didn't get any of those yesterday. That's what he thinks. No April Fool's jokes. No April Fool's jokes. Oh, so, my friends are too serious. They're all serious people. <laughs> I don't think it's your friends, honey, I think. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I'm just uh, a little too serious. Uh -huh. So what do you got for me? No, you start the, fi it's the fishing report. Oh, fishing report. Yeah, I'm just the. So here's the fishing report. I'm the color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so to speak. That's why I got my colorful mug. Look at my spring mug. What are you drinking? I'm drinking some tea right. this oh, morning. that is we've already We've already had a whole pot of coffee. I couldn't do more coffee. I don't need it. That's no. good. I get it. Yeah. <clears throat> so what about the fishing? So the fishing know. has been good. It has been good. Um, however, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> To say that, uh, I just looked at the flows this morning, and in the last three days, the bitterroot at Darby has more than doubled, running about 600. So right now, it's what, about 9 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and it is just beautiful. I mean, it's I'm always cold, so I lovely. have too many coats on, but it's yeah. supposed to be 67 today here. That's it's going to be gorgeous. Crazy. And the, uh, the bugs have been hatching great. We've had mm -hmm. squalas and little Lutridae stoneflies, little brown stones. And Lutridae. There's an argument whether it's oh, ne Nemoridae it. or Lutridae. I can tell you they're Lumora. needle stones and little skinny guys. <laughs> and uh, little catnias, midges, and blooming olives. We've seen some March browns. I mean, I've spent three, four days of guiding this year without tying on a nymph. Cool. And moly. That might be an all-time record. These people all -time wanted record. fish dry flies, so that's Nymph what we did. Nymph fishing is not a crime. Nymph fishing is we not a that. crime. That's why I'm typically, I put a nymph on every time. But the dry fly fishing has been good, and they wanted to fish dry, so we've been doing that. Um, however, that's going to change. You're not going to be able to just Seems fish like dries. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're probably going to need to use some San Juan worms and some uh, big copper johns. Big bright co copper johns will work pretty well. Uh, double beat stones, especially those peacock ones, will start working pretty Why well. Why are we changing? Because the water's coming up. The oh. water's going to get a little bit of a uh, little uh, color issue in it. Um, hopefully, it won't get muddy. But even if the river's coming up, if it's not too steep, you can still catch them on droppers, and you'll catch a few on dries. But it'll probably right. be a, a little bit more of a nymphing game. It's supposed to cool off this weekend, <clears throat> and with that. I'm hoping yeah, that... Yeah, I got it, the weather right here in the oh, trusty Missoulian. Yes. Jeez. There it is, yeah. right there. So you it's... See that? Looks like rain. Right? Um, rain's coming on. As long as it didn't rain too much, I would think it'd kind of level off. I don't anticipate the river to drop real fast, but I think it'll level off. So that should be good. Uh, the Blackfoot's a good call. It's going to drop by 10 degrees temp uh, air yeah. temperature, so that's good. Rock okay. Creek will be good. Um, Rock Creek's going to be great. That might be your best call this weekend. Uh, you can also go over to the Missouri. It's been silly uh, fishing, although I, I, in the next two weeks that'll start slowing down too because a lot of those fish will go up into those spawning tributaries and um, they're going to be up in the prickly pear and the Dearborn and those kind of creeks getting ready to spawn. Mm -hmm. And you can't fish those until the third Saturday in May. If you're going over to the Missouri, you want to. we've got a bunch of check nymphs and little pink scuds and eggs and that kind of stuff mm -hmm. that people use over there, some zebra midges. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's more like a bead store. Yeah, it's beads. Yeah, it mm. There's a lot of bead action going on. Over there. Um, Clark Fork just down here below the house. Been pretty good. Uh, we've been fishing droppers down there. We had one decent day of dry fly fishing, but for some reason we haven't had a great day of dry fly fishing down there. It's been pretty bright each day I've been on the it's lower. It's really bright today. Yeah, I another love bright it. day. Love it. It's beautiful, but uh, probably beautiful. not the what best. Beautiful. What is that? Velvet. <laughs> probably not the best for fishing. It's me channeling Matthew, channeling Eddie Murphy. <laughs> That's beautiful. What is no, it, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Inside what else joke. is new? Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> April, we're going to probably start doing a few of our Fly Fishing 101 classes, mm -hmm. weather dependent, of course. Yep. Um, they're free. They're or Orva sponsors these and, um, you know, kind of go over the basics. If you're new to fly fishing or just want to hone up your skills, it's a two and a half to three and a half hour class, typically done on Saturdays, but we cater to various schedules depending on, you know, who's in the class. So, um, make sure you get signed up for those. Just come down to the shop, get your name on the list, mm -hmm. your email, and we just email out the first six or eight people that sign up. We put a class together and do it. Yep. Yep. You don't need to bring anything. Just, yeah, it's free. So we got that going on. That will go th probably through July mm -hmm. is my guess. Um, and then the Orvis Rendezvous is coming up. 
which is it used to be just kind of a guide event, but this year they're offering a, a little thing for the public. A, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be really fest, fun. Which will yeah. be fun. Who doesn't like to have a brew it's be fest? Free. There's a brew fest for everything, yeah. in there? Yeah. Everybody. There's a lot of beer drinkers. A lot of beer. I don't get it. Yeah. I'm a uh, wine drinker. I drink tequila. <clears throat> <laughs> If yeah, you're going to drink, fest. you might as well drink. <laughs> that takes it to a whole new level. Um, but there, there's going to be free beer, free burgers. There's going to be vendors there that aren't selling stuff, but you can see new things for this year. Yeah, kind of like um, a show. Then they're going to have a film. Uh, it's kind of their own little film tour mm -hmm. that night with six or seven films. Uh, only one of which is going to be a rerun of what you might have seen. A what? A rerun, <laughs> rerun, rerun of what you you've seen re -run this. <laughs> before. And that... Uh, the rest of them are going to be kind of new shows, and with that, they're going to have a bunch of drawings and raffles, and in fact, there's several trips. We're giving away a, a trip to El Pescador in Belize. We're giving away a trip, but that's we nothing are. like, we want to win the trip to El Pescador. Two people yeah, for I free. I don't want to win our trip. I don't either. I don't want to go fishing with you. <laughs> so the other thing that people are, seem to be really psyched about is the Little, little Smokies. Lil, Lil Smokies are coming. That's spelled L-I-L. Yeah. Lil. Like, and they're a local band that people like love. like the guy Lil Kim. Same kind of guy? <laughs> I think it's Lil. I don't think it's Lil Kim. Lil Kim. L I L. And I think if it was Lil Kim, it would be a girl, wouldn't it? No, no. He's the rapper. I Lil, think it's Lil, Lil Wayne or something. I don't know. Anyway. It's <laughs> Lil, Lil Smokies here in Missoula. Oh, okay. We digress. All right. So we got that going. That is uh, April 19th. We sell tickets at the shop. They're 10 bucks a piece. That's $10 to get into the film festival, which is a direct... Donation, uh, donation to Montana. Montana Trout Unlimited, right? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. The uh, rest of the down the hatch is actually free to the public. <laughs> All right, these guys are really getting bored. What do we got <laughs> going on here? Is there anything funny going there on? Is, what is so, what's the good news? Here we go. In Elliston, it says here, little snippet, my favorite snippet. More than 200 attend the Bigfoot hunt. Yes. Elliston, People. Elliston, Montana. There was no word, in, in, in quotes, or photo on the outcome of the big Bigfoot hunt here on March 23rd. People are but so the, pathetic. <laughs> the <laughs> Silver State, listen, but the Silver State Post, I guess that's their newspaper, caught up with Bill Henney beforehand to find out how the whole thing works. Henney runs Law Dog Saloon, that's startling that they are sponsoring a Bigfoot hunt. 200 people gather for the annual event, which occurs on or near the March full moon. Hunters pony up hunters. <laughs> are they hunting? Ah! Are they going to knock him down? Are they going to take pony him down? Up. They got a license? Listen, pony up $15 a piece for a license. Oh, there it is. <laughs> which, wait, which, wait for it. Which comes with a kit containing things like jerky, beer nuts, and a flashlight. <laughs> there you go. It all gets started when he <laughs> gets out his bullhorn and announces Bigfoot. Is the Bigfoot hunt has started? Da 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 da. You can read the rest <laughs> Those of Those guys going. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. And that, oh, did you hear that? See. Did you hear something that? Is, something is something. Something's wrong. Oh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. All the news that's fit to print. And the what Bigfoot about hunt. that hearing thing, right? Wasn't no, that an fine. ad for mm -hmm. Bigfoot? Mm -hmm. Bigfoot yeah. is around, all around us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we it. had a guy two years ago who spotted Bigfoot. I, I am not making this up on a, one of our guided trips. Dang yeah. it, man. And I saw missed him. It. Mm -hmm. Told the guy, he's like, I know I saw him. Did he get a picture? No. It's weird, right? <sighs> okay. So That's a wrap. <clears throat> that's what we got. <laughs> <laughs> if you come out here, bring your flashlight, your beer nuts. Beer nuts, yeah, I think beer <laughs> and nuts. And $15. Are <laughs> mandatory. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Good luck. <laughs>